Astrology is just a finger pointing at reality. Astrology can clear up or mix up a person as much as any other psychological, philosophical, or religious mirror, a looking glass in the endless mirror hall of life. It's common knowledge that a large percentage of Wall Street brokers use astrology. It is clearly evident that most events of a widespread nature draw their causes from the enveloping heavens. Men should take their knowledge from the sun, the moon and the stars. Astrology. Do we make a hullabaloo among the stars? Or do they make a hullabaloo down here? It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. We are underlings. I don't believe in astrology. The only stars I can blame for my failures are those that walk about the stage. The controls of life are structured as forms and nuclear arrangements, in a relation with the motions of the universe. There is no better boat than a horoscope to help a man cross over the sea of life. Anyone can be a millionaire. But to become a billionaire you need an astrologer. All anyone can see in a birth chart are tendencies that will become facts if he does not do something to alter them. If the people were a little more ignorant, Astrology would flourish if a little more enlightened, religion would perish. I know nothing of the science of astrology and I consider it to be a science, if it is a science, of doubtful value, to be severely left alone by those who have any faith in providence. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. Most people today still believe, perhaps unconsciously, in the heliocentric universe every newspaper in the land has a section on astrology, yet few have anything at all on astronomy. Superstition is to religion what astrology is to astronomy the mad daughter of a wise mother. These daughters have too long dominated the earth. The only function of economic forecasting is to make astrology look respectable. You know, I designed the Queen Crest. I simply combined all the creatures that represent our star signs in. I don't even believe in astrology. Who needs astrology? The wise man gets by on fortune cookies. Faithful horoscope watching, practice daily, 
provides just the sort of small but warm and infinitely reassuring Philip that gets matters off to a spirited start. Astrologers are agreed that the squiggles called a horoscope contains some sort of message to be decoded. A wise man shall overrule his stars, and have a greater influence upon his own content than all the constellations and planets of the firmament. We need not feel ashamed of flirting with the Zodiac. The Zodiac is well worth flirting with. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. No date prefix directs me in the starry rubric set. Before one accepts spirituality, astrology is very powerful, like a lion. Then when one enters into a deeper spiritual life, astrology becomes a tiny household cat. Astrology is a language. If you understand this language, the sky speaks to you. Dreams and predictions of astrology ought to serve but for winter talk by the fireside. Before a war military science seems a real science, like astronomy, but after a war it seems more like astrology. We are merely the star's tennis balls, struck and banded which way please them. There's some ill planet rains. I must be patient till the heavens look with an aspect more favorable. The signs of the zodiac are karmic patterns, the planets are the looms, the will is the weaver. The starry vault of heaven is in truth the open book of cosmic projection. I find my zenith doth depend upon a most auspicious star, whose influence if now I court not, but omit, my fortunes will ever after droop. Figure flingers and stargazers pretend to foretell the fortunes of kingdoms and have no foresight in what concerns themselves. There is no better boat than a horoscope to help a man cross over the sea of life. A child is born on that day and at that hour when the celestial rays are in mathematical harmony with his individual karma. Astrology is one of the earliest attempts made by man to find the order hidden behind or within the confusing and apparent chaos that exists in the world. The stars which shone over Babylon and the stable in Bethlehem still shine as brightly over the Empire State Building in your front yard today. Astronomy to the selfish becomes astrology.
Well, one gets out of bed and the planets don't always hiss or muck up the day, each day. The astrologer who spells the stars, mistakes his globes, and in her bright eye interprets heaven's physiognomies. I will look on the stars and look on thee, and read the page of thy destiny. Astrologers that future fates foreshow. The celestial bodies are the cause of all that takes place in the sublunar world. Do not Christians and heathens, Jews and Gentiles, poets and philosophers, unite in allowing the starry influences? Astrological prayers seem to me to be built on as good reason as the predictions. Our jovial star reigned at his birth. A touchstone to determine the actual worth of an intellectual. Find out how he feels about astrology. There shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Astrology is assured of recognition from psychology, without further restrictions, because astrology represents the summation of all the psychological knowledge of antiquity. Astrology, or when the stars and light and illuminated who dazzle a bunch of lunatics. We should take astrology seriously. No, I don't mean we should believe in it. I am talking about fighting it seriously instead of humoring it as a piece of harmless fun. I submit that the traditional definition of psychiatry, which is still vogue, places it alongside such things as alchemy and astrology, and commits it to the category of pseudoscience. 